Hello, this is New Vision TV. I am Lynn Komjisha. Kenya's 2017 elections are done, and although NASA's presidential candidate Raila Omolo Odinga has gone to contest the results, the country has generally moved on. New Vision TV takes a look at Kenya's return to normalcy. With the Grisa Mada of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission ICT chief Chris Musando and the terrorist attack on the deputy president's home days to the election, it looked as if Kenya was headed for trouble. I, then, I wish to declare Honorable Uru Kenyatta as president-elect and Honorable William Ruto as the deputy president-elect. <laughs> The elections were done, results announced with incumbent Uhuru Kenyatta leading the top challenger Raila Odinga by a convincing 10% point. But Odinga's NASA was already crying foul even before the results. We demand that the IBC chairperson announce the presidential election results forthwith and declare the right honorable Raila Mondo Odinga and His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Busioka as the duly elected president and deputy president the Republic of Kenya, respectively. There were some delays in announcing results from some areas, but like it happened in 2012, when the international media had converged on Nairobi to witness bloodshed that never was, Kenyans maintained peace again. There were isolated incidents of violence in NASA strongholds that claimed several lives, but security forces kept the situation firmly under control. Although Dingas Nasa strongly condemned rejecting the results, the public didn't seem convinced, nor was the international community. In 2012, thus naked bias against Uhuru Kenyatta, with top ranking United States officials, especially Assistant Secretary of State for Africa, John Carson, directly threatening and intimidating Kenyans to stop them from voting for Kenyatta. This time, the Americans did not interfere. After the results, Raila declared a nationwide strike by calling on people not to go to work. He was ignored. For his part, Uhuru extended reconciliation messages to Raila. In some of his memorable speeches, he urged grassroots people to continue living and working together in peace and leave the scrambling to the top leaders. Earlier, he had warned the people that even if they attacked each other, for him and Odinga, they would continue sharing a cup of tea. A hand of friendship to our older brother Raila Amolo Odinga, all his supporters, and also congratulate all those who won various positions on the NASA tickets. We cannot fight over an election. We have seen the results of political violence and I am certain that there is no single Kenyan who would wish for us to go back to those days. Let us shun violence and let us refuse to be used for short-term political gain that can only cost our country pain and grief in the longer term. The Kenyans have thus resumed their normal activities. There has been no disruption of trade or transport and no price hikes have been recorded in Uganda. President Uhuru and his deputy Ruto are also going about their work normally. Court will sit and listen to Raila's petition and eventually will issue another ruling. But looking at the current situation, life will go on. In sports news, the Uganda Cranes have resorted intensive training ahead of this second World Cup qualifier game on August the 31st. FUFA President Moses Magogo believes the Cranes will make it against Egypt at Mandela National Stadium in Nambole. He also described interim head coach Moses Basen and his assistant Fred Kajoba as diligent tacticians who will take charge of the game. Basen will announce a group of foreign-based players summoned for the task at the FUFA press conference in Mengo on Wednesday. Uganda has already played two matches of the qualifiers. It won against Congo Brazzaville, but had a draw against Ghana. It also registered a win against Egypt, who are leading the table.
You're still watching New Vision TV and now for a Pearl of Africa series, we take a look at Lukaya Town. Lukaya is one of the towns in Kalungu district, about 80 kilometers southwest of Kampala. Lukaya is on the Masaka Kampala Highway, close to the shores of Lake Victoria and a few degrees south of the equator. The town grew popular because it was a major stopover for people traveling to or from western Uganda, including trailers and buses. Residents took advantage of this and made it a one-stop center for food, including roasted meat. Lukaya is rather semi-developed town located in central Uganda, Kalungu district. Lukaya has become a main stopover by long-distance travelers who explore Uganda. The travelers enjoy roasted chicken and meat on the roadside, gonja and also a few drinks that they grab to accompany their food. This is clearly represented here. Getting to Lukaya, which is on the Masaka Kampala Highway, is approximately 103 kilometers by road southwest of Kampala, Uganda's capital city. This town's infrastructure is in good shape, therefore easing transportation of goods and services. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet, anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I'm Lynn Komjisha.